I've always been a very positive person um, just by nature and that's something that you know my father instilled in me from a very early age and um, it's a Finnish you know there's a Finnish uh, spirit that lives in all side Finnish, lives inside Finnish people and we call it Sisu and I have it tattooed on my arm here and it's a word that means uh, courage in the face of adversity but most of all never complaining in the face of adversity and that's something that I took to heart right from day one from uh, my injury and it's something that my father spoke to me a lot about and my family in Finland spoke to me a lot about even my friends here I learned about it and it's something that you know I just told myself that I wasn't going to complain and you know it's kind of that Buddhist thinking that once something happens to you it's already happened so what's the point in complaining about it you can't change the past so you know just you got to stay focused on stay focused on the future and uh you know, and it's also, I'm not going to lie, it was kind of a pride and ego thing in the sense that, you know, I wanted to, I wanted people around me to look at me as somebody that was confident, strong individual that was going to fight through this. And, um, you know, that's pretty much, that's pretty much how I did it, you know, and stay, you know, not, just stay busy, like stay focused on rehab and um, just, you know, every day. And one thing I also started to do is every day I'd, and this was kind of like a simple trick is every day I'd find one thing to look forward to outside of just all my medical stuff I had to take care of and the rehab, whether it was, you know, playing a game with my wife or my friends, you know, that night or watching a movie or whatever it was. Uh, just, you know, look forward to one thing every day. So just, you know, get through the day and get through the rehab and get through all the tough stuff so then I can have fun and, you know, watch a movie or, you know, laugh and have a good time. So you know that was definitely really important mm -hmm. and also you know not, not losing your sense of humor I think is extremely uh was very valuable for me and you know it, it really gets like I lived in the hospital for six months and you know you experience a lot of extremely difficult things and challenging things and uncomfortable things and um you just need to learn to laugh about them and uh and just find you know funny things and you know the craziness and uh, that definitely helped but I also had trainers and the nurses that were just absolutely fantastic and you know it's funny because I have nothing but like good memories of my six months in the hospital no matter how horrendous it was you know I just think about all the good times we had and it was lots of laughs. laughs